my name is Natalie Restokian. I'm a Canadian author and a motivational speaker. I was not born here in Canada. I just came here 11 years ago from Lebanon. I'm Armenian. Both my grandparents are genocide survivors. I was born and lived in Lebanon. And believe me, my greatest dream in the world was to be famous. I became an actress on stage, then on the radio, then on TV. I became a TV show host, which was the biggest dream ever. Marketing manager of three magazines. I traveled all around the world. It was amazing. Wherever I went, people knew me. Why did I ever use the title masks? Well, sometimes when you think about it, I just got one with me here. It's amazing. We see in life, when we put a mask on, we can do anything, right? People will not recognize us. We wear masks every single day. I was one of them. I wore masks all my life. Sometimes we wear masks because we're scared to be ourselves. Other times, we have no choice. But most of the time, we do it because we think that's what we have to do in order to mingle in and be a part of the society. When you look at the book Masks and you read, you will see and you realize that I just wrote about the voices of so many women in Arab world, in Lebanon, who do not dare to speak up for themselves. They are scared. And I put my own voice in Anna, who is the protagonist. And when you read about Anna, you will just see that it's not only things that I've experienced, it's not inspired by my true life event. Every single thing in the book is inspired by true life events. And Anna, she's just crazy, angry, emotional. She's a person who has everything in her. So. I will let you read the book, but I don't advise men to do it. But if we just put aside our racial prejudice, our religious beliefs, and we break all those barriers, we will just realize that we have so much more in common with the rest of the world than we think. We just say, oh, what the hell? Why will I care for women over there? They are not women over there. They are women and they are human beings, and so we are. And we should embrace each other. And a lot of people will tell you, yeah, you are strong, you're courageous, that's why you wrote. I say, no, I didn't have courage. My courage was my pain, my weakness. When you're weak, you just do anything to relieve that pain. But I transferred that pain and that weakness to a novel, to a story. Trust me, there are a lot of times when the whole world will wait for your tears. But imagine, how will people feel when you just give them a smile? Imagine when the whole world is there for you to ask for help and tell them, that you are in pain, but you say, no, I'm not a victim, I'm a survivor. I can get through this. I'm strong, even though you're not, but you believe in yourself. Imagine when you are on your knees and the whole world is waiting for you not to rise back on your feet and you stand up and you keep walking. What is that? It's courage, it's to believe in yourself. No one knows you the way that you do. And no one can believe in you the way that you believe in yourself. It's not easy to be strong in life. And it's not easy to achieve things. A lot of people will say, oh, what the hell? She just published a novel and thing and she's there giving advice. It doesn't have to be about a novel. It doesn't have to be about success. For me, after everything that I have achieved, and things that I had not achieved yet, for me, success itself is happiness. 
when you're happy, when you have inner peace, then you're successful. You have to always remember that you are the master of your own destiny. And believe me, success is happiness. And when you remove your mask and be yourself, it doesn't matter how many people love you or don't. If you might, a few of them might like you, might like you, but then again, they will love you for who you are. So I choose to wear a mask? No, I don't. So please don't choose to wear a mask. Remove it, be yourself, and then you will be happy. Thank you.